Bhubaneswa boasts many magnificent buildings. The capital of the Indian province of Orissa is well known for its fine Hindu temples. For several years it has been a popular destination for both tourists and pilgrims. Surrounded by rice fields and scenic landscape, the Rajarani temple that dates back to the 11th century is a truly impressive sight. It's mainly famous for its filigree dikpals, the guardians of the eight directions that adorn the sanctuary's tower. At one time, the ancient Bhubaneswar featured 7,000 sanctuaries and was known as the City of Temples. Indeed, 500 Hindu temples have survived. The Rajarani Temple is one of the most beautiful demonstrations of local artistry. A splendid building. The Bindu Segar tank was once the heart of the city's religious life. The many sanctuaries here highlight the former architecture of Orissa. Bindu Sagar is also important for another reason. The pool here is believed to contain water from each of India's sacred rice fields. The highlight of the year is a special celebration when a precious illustration of Shiva is brought down from the nearby Lingaraj temple to a water pool. The ritual bathing of the main Shiva deity is accompanied by many pilgrims. The Vital Dhul, west of Bindu Sagar, is plainer. It dates back to the 8th century. The sanctuary also has a dark side, and the main deity of the Vital Dhul temple is the frightening eight-armed Chamunda. Historians and archaeologists believe from the images within the sanctuary that tantra rituals and even human sacrifice once took place here. The strange and somewhat puzzling sculptures and images outside the building create a frightening, almost oppressive atmosphere. A most mysterious place. A masterly demonstration of the filigree art of the local stonemasons is Anato Vasudev, that is also situated in the temple district of Bhubaneswar. Here, traditional arts and crafts are to be seen, as well as a chance to look into the temple's kitchen. Both sadhus and sacred animals are often to be found close to the temples. The temple market of Bhubaneswar has a long tradition. It's still busy today and very popular with the local people. The market is an ideal opportunity for the local merchants to meet and for the Hindu pilgrims that have often travelled great distances to shop. The temple district is historic ground. Settlements existed here long before the construction of the earliest sanctuaries in the 7th century. The various dynasties that ruled over Orissa developed their own architectural style. Impressive due to its large dimensions and also quite intriguing is the Parasu Ramaswara temple that dates back to the 7th century. It 
It's without doubt one of the most well-preserved temples in Bhubaneswar and is visited by every tour that travels through the large temple district. The external walls of the temple depict images of various deities. Its design is not as artistic as was developed in subsequent years. The tower of the Parasu Ramaswara Sanctuary is 13 meters lower than that of earlier buildings in the locality. The Mukteswara temple dates back to the 10th century. It's a gem of Orissa's temple architecture and is still in use today. One of the most outstanding features of this extraordinary building is an archway, the Torana, that contains many filigree female figures. The richly decorated archway shrine and tank contain much detailed artwork. The Mukteswara temple marked a turning point in Orissa's religious architecture. A shining landmark that dates back to the high season of Orissa is this splendid 11th century Lingaraj that is located in the south of the holy district. Here, sculptures and architecture combine in perfect harmony. When walking through the complex, it's quite usual to encounter various sacred cars. The Dul, the tower of the Lingaraj temple, can be seen from afar. It's 55 meters high and decorated with numerous ornaments and sculptures. This monumental sacred building underlines its unique significance by way of more than a hundred smaller sanctuaries that are situated in the temple's courtyard. In Hinduism, dance has always played an important role. A number of highly artistic classical dances contain both religious and mythical themes that date back to ancient times. The classical temple dance of Orissa, and that also of Bhubaneswar, is the Odissi. India has several traditional regional dances. Dance is one of the highest developed art forms in India. The smallest movement and facial expression has a special symbolic meaning. And Bhubaneswar provides the perfect setting for a Hindu temple dance. 